the recorded statement that we learned about this weekend, Brian, that Grandma Tiffany spilled the beans. She just opened the spigots, like, right away. Do you have any knowledge of why she would consider so early on, I don't even know if she had a lawyer, uh, why she would do this? It doesn't appear she had a lawyer, Ashley, because when I was in court, uh, mm. she didn't have a lawyer at that point yet. She was still looking for a private attorney. We don't know why. Is she somehow thinking that she may, may, may be able to manipulate this? Uh, she's going to maybe turn on some of the other suspects. Try, I mean, remember, death penalty is on the table here, Ashley. So maybe she's thinking if she comes clean, she can somehow uh, work some kind of deal. We don't know at this point, but I was shocked to see that in the bail paperwork. Remember, in the initial arrest affidavit, it didn't say anything about a confession. There was nothing uh, related right. to a confession. Nothing. Then we get the bond paperwork over the weekend, uh, which I thought was just going to sort of be standard, but luckily we read through the entire thing and there was that line you read. And they didn't just say confession. It was interesting the way they worded it. Tiffany Adams did provide a recorded statement to law enforcement indicating her responsibility for the death of the deceased. I mean, basically means a confession, but I found it interesting. It was kind of like a little bit of a word salad, actually, the way responsible for the death well, of the deceased. Now that you mention that, I'm actually rethinking this uh, live, uh, you know, on, on camera here. And the truth is that the, the rancher who leased the land to Tiffany's boyfriend, uh, Tad Cullen, right? The rancher that leased that land, uh, I believe that he provided information to the, to the authorities that Tiffany and Tad had been there together the day before saying they needed to do some digging, meaning... Tiffany was there. She knew exactly where they were going to do the digging. Mm. So maybe this statement means she came in and said, I have no idea. I think that hole was dug, you know, four, four miles that way, which to the police indicates she's lying. And it's, it's indicative of uh, somebody who's responsible maybe for this killing because they had had that information from from the rancher. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing like the rest of us, right? But I do want to ask you a bit about the, the language in the affidavit because it really, it settled all the rumors to rest. While you were down there and while uh, Laura Engel, our other correspondent at News Nation was down there, you all were quite nervous about security. It, it was not like any other assignment. And a lot of the talk around town was that these people are dangerous. Do not mess with them. We're afraid to talk. They're frightening. They're scary. They're, they're evil. They're dangerous. They're, they're mean people. Those were the rumors. And now we see that the affidavit says they're dangerous and they're violent in the community. Yeah, and it was very, very clear also that they tried to kill Veronica in the past. They say that they would try to lure her out of the home previously, a plan to drop an anvil through her windshield, which is really barbaric, an anvil, it's, it's like a big iron block if you don't know what that is. It's like something that a, a blacksmith uses. If you Google it, it's massive. The thought of them dropping that through a windshield certainly could have killed someone. Uh, and they had this, this plan before. Uh, they, they pointed in the documents uh, the, the callous manner of which the crimes were committed, support a continuous threat uh, and, and that's why everybody, I guess, was so nervous to talk to us for so long, especially before the arrests, Ashley. Uh, people were very, very afraid of Grandma Tiffany and Tad in particular. And also the fact that they're, they, they have the means, and this is another issue for bail, right? Do they have the means and do they have the propensity for flight? Uh, not the least of which a death penalty is on the table, so what do you got to lose no matter what? These are all the reasons for keeping someone in custody, but the fact that they had a lot of money... That also scared a lot of people around town. They, they were mean, they were nasty, they had a reputation, and they had money. They are powerful, at least they were powerful. Now they're locked up. Uh, we've been told that Grandma Tiffany owns thousands of acres of land. It was my assumption uh, early on in the coverage that she was really the, the richest of them all, but then we started to hear that Tad actually may have even more money than Grandma Tiffany and more land, too. So they can certainly afford good lawyers, um, and they have the resources to get away, which prosecutors made clear in that bond paperwork that we just got our hands on over the weekend. But also, this was new, that Tad Cullum had a rifle, ammunition, body armor, and a go bag prepared. Uh, so they had the, the financial resources, but they were making other preparations, too. Uh, that's also now coming out through some of this paperwork, Ashley. Let me ask you this. Um, th th it really stood out that there were these comments that were quoted in the affidavit saying, we know the route the judge walks home. It just kind of made my blood 
run cold, uh, that if it wasn't good enough to get rid of Veronica, we could do something about the judge in this custody case. Do we know anything more about that? Yeah, it does appear they were talking about the judge in the custody case, so you made that clear at the top, not likely the judge that we saw in the criminal case. But I think it just goes back to, you know, when we showed up to the courthouse for that, that first hearing, the amount of security that they had, the, the fact that they had snipers on the roof. When have you ever heard of snipers on the roof for a first appearance in, in, a, in a murder case? Uh, they had a police drone up. There were sheriff's deputies all over the parking lot I mean, they clearly knew a lot of these details then. They hadn't gone public with them until the bond paperwork came out. But I think that explains the heightened security that we saw. And I think it also explains why so many people have been scared to talk to us, especially uh, when the suspects were out uh, before they got arrested. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.